Hi, it's James here again from the Sprinkle Donut Forge. I'm making some sand soup here in my little iron pot. And uh, some of you may know what I'm doing here. This is a continuation of our ball peen hammer punch project. And I've done a little grinding to it. I've got the end like I want it. I left some of this nice faceting on there because I just think it, it looks good like that to me. Um, I do a little bit of tapering around here because as you use punches and struck tools they're going to uh, mushroom a little bit. And you can dress them like this and you get a little more life before you have to redress them. Now there's something that I want to point out about this method and why I'm doing it this way. You want the working end to be hardened and it needs to be pretty hard and you keep it cool during work of course you don't necessarily want the struck end to be near that hard because you can risk hurting yourself with a piece of flying debris coming off of here uh, it just that doesn't have to be hard it won't damage you or your hammer if this is softer than the working end so when you use a pot of sand heated to a high temperature like this and you put the struck end down what's going to happen is this end is going to get hotter than the end that's sticking up and you can watch the color run until you get a light straw up here on top of course the bottom will be more of a, a blue or a purple and it'll be softer it won't have the type of temper that the working in has so this is what we're going to do I'm going to stick this in that pot of sand and we're going to get it the color we want and then quench it off I recommend oil I'm going to stick it in water and if I have any issues with the tool after doing that uh, I'll be sure to let you know so you can use oil There it is. Now you've got something to get a visual on. Bring that sand up around it. And when you get your end the color you want it, jerk it out of there and quench it off. And that's how you do a sand pot heat treat. I'll go ahead and pause this video and uh, let you see what it looks like when I get it there. All right, see that nice bronzy color? That's when we want to take it out of there. And you'll see that the bottom has purples, and different colors in it, but you got that nice light bronze here at the working point. So we're just gonna quench this thing. And there it is, hardened tip, annealed striking surface. That's the sand pot method, and I wanted to make sure that uh, y'all got to see how I did this, because it works. It works very well. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that this helps you in your tool making and your blacksmithing, and uh, we'll see you next time.